Amazon Guardian. Amazon. What? I, I pressed the, I pressed the button. It it's saying it's done a thing, but oh, it's over there. I feel like I've seen the box art for this definitely. Yeah, I've definitely seen the box art for this. Okay, VGA and SVGA mode. Okay, remember everyone, remember Alt V because we will we'll we'll see what the difference is. So this one's this one's plenty better with ScumVM. VM. Well, too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Music, but the video is frozen. Yeah, weird. Yeah, the stream's working, but the um, but the share isn't for some reason. Oh, let me reshare it. There we go. I think that I shared it before it had um decided which program it was going to run in. Uh, Chris Jones. Yeah, it's an access. Like, it's an access game. It's an access game. Oh, oh. One red pixel in that E. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I programmed it. He's like, I programmed it that way. Oh, Neil Galloway's got a couple of red dots. Oh, Chris Jones has now got a single red dot as well. Mm. Sudden drop of music. Terror in the jungle! On Axis here. What I remember about this game was I managed to break it on like the very first screen. Excellent! I'm like, I'm like, oh, Axios' QA has gotten worse since the last time. Well, let's see if we can repeat that. Mm. Well, long ago when American automobiles ruled the roads, when the US led the world in technology, let the Japanese have transistor, we'll use our great vacuum tubes, two brothers emerged from the heartlands of this great nation. These two brothers were in many respects complete opposites i mean look at them so they seem to have a major age difference yeah, yeah. hello One oh yeah, here we go hair on his bottom of his face and the other one had hair on the top of his yes face. <laughs> alan roberts is a powerfully built man with age beyond his years showing on his ruggedly handsome face. Ruggedly handsome face. Ra maybe like raggedly more like, but okay. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. As a top research scientist, Alan travels around the world to conduct work for Alistair Research. Confident and with undying curiosity for the unknown, Alan has pursued his career with zeal. Jason's about 10 years younger. Jason! Jason! And regards Alan as more of a father figure than a brother. After Jason graduated from California State College, <laughs> Alan arranged for a job at Jason. Jason at uh, Alistair Research. Still somewhat naive about the world, Jason has the athletic build and is considered to be, by some, to be the all-American Boyne. Boyne? What did I say Boyne for? Okay. Uh, for, <laughs> for many months, Alan has been in the Amazon River Basin. Very soon, events will occur that will change the lives of these two brothers irrevocably and forever. So an all American boy at a at a allegedly grumpy old man. <laughs> grumpy old man. No, but, but an, 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 an allegedly um ruggedly handsome man. It's like <laughs> Oh um, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the kind of movie setup I was expecting, at least not in this genre. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice yeah, right looks of... drawn, but left looks like a photo, yeah. Oh. Who's screaming? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Well, one of them is dead. Mm. Oh. So oh, no. Much for all American <laughs> boy. Ruggedly mm. handsome. Oh, no, my brother. Wouldn't that be funny if I was him? That was yeah. Dead? Six weeks later, Alistair oh. Research, Woodland, Never Oregon. Mind. Jason Roberts arrives at work. Jason! Unaware of the events several thousand miles away to have drawn him into an amazing adventure with this snazzy music. Oh, we'll look at our sweet ass car. Oh boy. Mm, fancy. Wow. Jason's red on white 1953 Chevrolet Bel Air. There's another Bel Air over here. Blue Chevy. Belongs to the librarian, Miss Morton. Oh, yeah. 
We're going to have drinks with Lisa. Oh! Wait, really? Oh, stale building is the combination of aesthetics and function set against the beautiful cascades. Cool. For some reason, the screen and music just. You make don't me... have the equipment for the walk icon? Talk to yourself. Calm icon. Oh. For some reason, this just makes me think of Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> oh, yeah, the music depot. The music in the, the front, like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the office in Leisure Suit Larry 5. Try driving it. I'll see you. I see you can select nothing. Maybe that's walk. So if you if you click if you click the eye again. Okay, hang on. Cool. There's our keys. Cool. I mean, we just got you. I'm guessing you're oh, yeah. not supposed to leave. Yeah, if you're just the target, you walk. Oh, footsteps. Big clicky ones. Yeah. Is this does this have direct control? Like yes, it does. Keys? Oh, there you oh, go. That's better. Yeah, because he only has, like, up, down, left, right, so... That's what made me suspect. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You have nice rotoscope walk cycles. Yeah. Mm. Not to mention that... Oh! Oh, no! This person. Hey, baby! I'm coming Is behind you. Is that a babe or lady? I can't <laughs> tell. It looks like they have a mustache. She might. Let's have a look. Oh. oh. What? That doesn't look anything like the sprite. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Darlene. You're looking beautiful. How are things in the typing pool? Darlene, is that unsightly empty blemish? blemish? <laughs> uh, <sighs> no, let's, let's smooth. Yeah, let's be nice. Uh, okay, you're not... No, you're not going to say... Not talking. Yeah. Is he ever in a good mood? Maybe I should walk in his office and tell him he looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I should have picked that. Yeah. I'm saying, what's this before or after motion memorandum? Good question. Move closer. Oh, good. You can walk and have icons selected. That's handy. Oh, so this is my okay. This is my lab. I thought maybe this was the guy that we were gonna be like, "You're beautiful." It's true. <laughs> Okay, it's small and cluttered with various pieces of... But it's right by the door, so that's great! Mm -hmm. Different chemicals everywhere. Mm -hmm. Brown rat, mesh wire cage. You know. Oh, it's first person. He squeezes in delight at your kind words! Oh! That's not how you spell squeal. No. <laughs> Okay, da, 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 da. Breeder rat. It's a weird name for, What's for our the rat. Dome? This is option to the X 1000B, which will intercept secret radio signals from flying saucers <laughs> and decode their secret invasion plans. It doesn't work. Of course not. No big games. It's... The phone moves slightly. Jason! <laughs> You want to admit this door next office. Okay. Ah, yes. The interface is reminding me more of Mean Streets than of the later games. Yeah. It you is know, a the bit... way you have regular war controls and... And look like a hobo vampire. From... This mm. game is from 1992, so I think it's after Martian. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, this is Alan's lab. Alan's lab is bigger than ours. God damn it. <laughs> Guess Mr. Fornick's office is somewhere over here. That's the library. We'll check out Toots afterwards. I'm just assuming this is his office at the end. Also remember that a scrolling background was still a flex in 1992. Mm. Mm. A call to the president's office was horrible, gut-wrenching experience for the working class. A cold, humorless authoritarian 
Wilbur Thornick has all the warmth of a dead fish. Immediately upon entering and sitting down, Jason senses that something terrible is wrong. Thornick's eyes usually dark and somber. Attempt a pleasant gaze. His thin, his thin taunt mouth forces out a pathetic smile. It is a pitiful effort to soften the sledgehammer he's about to deliver. All right, what do you, what do you got for me, mate? I'm afraid I have bad news for you, Jason. Where's the smile? Your brother's expedition to Ooh. Amazon has been attacked, um, and he's missing. Uh, we do everything we can to get more information. And you're doing that a bit too much, I think, sir. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was I was distracted by your hands. What did you say? <laughs> I want you to go home and rest a while. Take the whole day if you feel it necessary. Okay. Magnanimous gesture. My brother. He drives home. Alan's work's always dangerous, but isn't he indestructible? Is he really gone? Yes. Jason's apartment is tastefully decorated in contemporary 1950s style and fashion. A virtually priceless original painting on velvet hangs proudly above the white marble mantle. The mahogany, it's mahogany, contains uh, various keepsakes and a complete set of encyclopedias. But the, it's a fancy man. His pride and joy is his 20 inch black and white Dumont television set. Yes, Jason's pet is about as hip as any cool cat could have imagined. Oh my god, it's hideous. <laughs> Whoa. That is. That's. That's hideous. That's just. That is bad. Okay, fine, we'll just open it then. You strain to open the package, but the twine's too strong for you to break! I got keys. Keys are great at opening packages. That won't work. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, it was Control V, wasn't it? To switch between SVGA and VGA? Hmm. Oh! Oh, it's one of those games that just puts it inside a frame. Oh. I remember games briefly doing this. So what, I can... I can access... It's like, I want to... I can access it's like, look at you all fancy. You can view the inventory and the game at the same time. No, thank you. It's like having a Wii U. <laughs> Liz says this marriage is for keeps. Okay. I'm guessing that was a magazine. That's the... Oh, letter opener. I will take that. Stab the package! Yay! We could have done this on a table, mate. Okay, we've got a key. We've got a letter. Oh, it's from Alan. What's his face? <laughs> Who? And that was the cold open. Wow. Wow, that. It was not as thrilling as they think. You look nothing like what you did just before. Mm. You know what I reckon it is? It's probably a picture that's been edited to, you know, make him look probably. younger. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Alan sent us bail. That, that's it? Oh, here we go. Jason! <laughs> what I'm about to divulge must be shared with no one, as you're aware. Our expedition was savagely attacked by someone or something. All of the details will be shared with you when we meet. For now, I will tell you that the expedition was on the expedition was on the verge of a great discovery. <gasps> oh! Which ruthless men will stop at nothing to get their hands on. But there's more! The attack that night was sent a chill through my very soul. I've never been superstitious, but I believe supernatural powers are pursuing me and it makes my flesh crawl. <laughs> to continue my work, you must get the story the contents of my storage drawer inside the mountain vault, read the information on the microfilm and bring everything to me. Since no one must know about this, you must find a, a resourceful way to get into the vault. I've also sent the key to my cabinet, use it to get my combination to my safe. In case this letter falls into the wrong hands, I've written the instructions to find me in code. 
Use the little orphan Annie decoder ring we used as kids. Okay. <laughs> Jason! I'm being pursued by forces who will stop at nothing to get the information I have. Be cautious, but act quickly or it may be too late. Alan. Couldn't call yourself, like, a nickname, like, Al or something? Like, it just makes them seem very uh, remote from each other. Well, wise guy! Knucklehead. Well, wise guy! Oh, the three Knucklehead. Yeah! That's the only thing that's on. Yeah, let's go to the bathroom! Bathroom won't move. Looks pretty in pink. So we did we did this for nothing though. Cool. Exit. Back to work. Oh, I was muted. Oh. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, click the click the button again to get the um the cost of back, but that probably wasn't important. Yeah. I'm gonna go check out the library first. Go meet the sexy librarian lady. Is she? Is, would you say she's a sexy librarian lady? Have we seen her already? No, but Pickle said we had a date with her. It's locked. Yeah. <laughs> Time to do inventory puzzles at our pace of work. That won't move. Okay. Here we are in our brother's office that sounds sexy. Cabinet key. It opens! What we got here? Gee, access came from this era. What was it, this really scratchy art star? A reel to reel Ooh. audio. Tape for tape recorder is here. Don't mind if I do. Anything else? Apparently not. What about this? Okay. <laughs> well, then take it, then you fool. We've got the. Stick it on the projector, I guess. Yeah. Movie. Oh, tape. Tape looks a lot like a movie. What? They didn't make a mini game out of shredding the tape through the projector? I mean, the film? Oh, you're probably gonna pull the screen down. Oh. Oh! Um. Alan. This is so access. I always have to have a have a flex, like everywhere. Yes. Al Alan, the, the, this is weird. Is this lady with the tentacle on her? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a very <laughs> uh, short sound loop. Yeah. Yes. Video. Turn it off. I mean, it says it was a tape, not a movie, but... No. I need to find a real to real machine. That, like, this is the second game today that's given us a tape with no tape recorder. How dare it! Oh, there you go, Francisco. That's what... Let's... That's the next puzzle Rose Water needs. What's a <laughs> tape to tape? A piece of media that a piece of media we then also have to track down the machine to play it in. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, what's it called? Uh, I don't know like, how much like technology is in Rose Water because like you've got all the technology from Lamplight City. So you'd be like, well, if you had this thing, um, you'd be able to play it. I can definitely tell you that there are situations where you get pieces of media and you have to play them, but the thing you have to play them on is pretty obvious. Excellent. Uh, obvious. So, you heard it here first, kids. Yeah. 
There's meteor in the game. And probably a Victrola. Um, yeah. Yes! Wax, uh, mm. A cylindrograph, yes. actually. A wax cylindrograph. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, Alistair, security vault is hewn into the rough granite wall. Okay. So they're gonna kill us. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Um, I'll go back. I just wanted to meet the sexy librarian uh, lady! It's like we're still at the office, but somewhere we're outside again, yes. Yeah. Guess we'll go check my office for real to tape to real. I'm not seeing Tapes one. And reels. But I haven't also haven't opened any of these Lit cabinets. Liquids. Ooh. This is... is that alcohol? Oh, this is where the vodka. This is where the vodka's kept. Oh yeah. It's ethyl. It's ethyl. That means you can drink it. Yeah. Can't drink it. Uh, what's it called? Ethanol, though. Mm. All right, let <laughs> be like. Uh, I've got some uh, drinking alcohol. Would you like to tell me where there's a tape to tape deck? <laughs> I heard about Alan. That's terrible news. Oh, no. Wow. Um. That. Now the voice samples are back. Okay. Um. Very devastating. We were close. If only I. We're able to get this key to his cabinet. We've already got it. Okay, I've I've only let if I'd only let him know how much he'd helped me during my life. He's only missing. I'm sure he'll show up at one of the native villages. Don't give up hope. Cool. Th this being the thing makes it very weird. Just gonna shoot you in the head, lady. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, offer her the, offer her the booze. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Offer button. Offer button doesn't work. Great. <laughs> oh, now we got the angry face. You've never cared for my research assistants, have you? You've always hated rats. I'm gonna get back to work. Wow, that that that's a face. <laughs> Okay. Don't mind if I do. Find his keepers. Oh, they're not in my size. Oh, did not mean to go into Alan's office. Ah, oh, where is it? Where is the tape deck, though? I mean, unless I'm supposed to go back to my house, but that feels unlikely. Up. What's well used? Ooh, sofa. Don't mind if I do. Oh, the display. Well, then open the display case. Now we'll move. Hey, I want to hear this, so I'm just going to check a walkthrough real quick. Can we take this book in the foreground? Ooh. Can we at least look at it? A book on medicinal cures and herbs of the Amazon rainforest. By who? By Blanche Hakulpa. Hakulpa? <laughs> um, Amazon. And eh, walk through. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Guardians of Eden. Okay, go into. Okay, we have to go pick up our. Oh, okay. We're gonna go get our rat because we know Darlene doesn't like it. Okay. We're playing an adventure game. <laughs> we have to hassle. <laughs> We have to hassle a person just because they're there. I'm, li I'm, I'm glad that you realized that we're playing an adventure game. <laughs> yes. Open the cage first. 
She's pretty perky already. Can, well, uh, open it. Oh, oh, oh cage versus is, cage versus is rat. Right, snugly in our pocket. Okay. It's like we need to find a person who's just doing their job and and ruin their day. Hey, Darlene, you want to see what's in my pocket? What now, baby? Oh, hang on. Keep talking to her until she says she's scared of rats. Okay, so we need to get a response three, whatever the. Oh, uh, no, response two. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just seeing what's here. Oh, helping you with your social life. Oh, you got a fiance. <laughs> Okay, you gotta back up to the door and then release it. Oh, too close to the door. Except the auto walks into the. Uh... Let's get little buddy from our inventory. You know what you have to do, little buddy. The rat is placed beside the door and given a little nudge. Oh boy. Wow, there she goes. Typical. How very 50s. I'm amused that the rat is still on our inventory considering we just, well, released it. Yeah. God damn it, Alan. Fucking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fucking door, Alan. And she's probably back now, and then we're gonna have to scare her again. Oh, great. No, no, she's still gone. Oh, no. Oh, the rat is gone, okay. Wait, what? It said use the key key. Oh, no. Use oh, okay, so we're picking keys up from here. Closer. What is this, King's Quest? Yes. It's Future Wars. If you take all the keys, someone will notice. I guess we look at it first. I don't know. There we go. Bottom no. middle one. Oh, it's just a, a specific key. Okay, they'll probably have different look messages. Head back Close outside. The door, I guess. Oh yeah, that, that probably is an idea. Okay. Huh? It's already open. I want to close it oh. though. Well. No, we can't close it. Okay. We don't take all the keys, but we're just gonna leave the door open. Yeah. Dude. Use the door. Buddy. There we go. Okay, so that key that I picked up is for this green car in the middle here. Try the trunk. Oh, so this is Darlene's car. Which I'm practically standing on now. Okay, so we... So we're robbing the secretary's car. Wow, she's got bolt cutters and a crowbar! Bolt cutters and a crowbar! <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Was she, what uh... is she doing on a... On a date with her fiancé? Yeah! I'm just gonna leave her trunk open. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure just she doesn't mind. Go to the key okay, cabinet and again and... and pick up the bottom left keys. Okay. It just came up in a, in a discussion of of crowns and um, crowns and pawns that it being a very traditional adventure game and that you spend a lot of your time annoying people who are just doing their jobs. Okay, so we picked up these keys. Open the red book. Okay. And look at it. 
Love Potion number nine. I was just talking about the movie Love Potion number nine yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) Probably one of the worst things that Sandra Bullock's ever been in. I'm just going to fill up my water real quick. I'm trying to... That's right. I was going to... I couldn't remember who the the person that was in um, Love Potion number nine was. Wasn't it um, the guy who played Hercules? Oh, name. Jason Donovan. Oh, not Jason Donovan. Um, Tate Donovan. Tate Donovan. Yeah. Let's let's find out. Movie. I'm pretty sure he was the guy in that movie. Tate Donovan. Very mm. good. Okay, so we're seducing someone. Oh, okay. Um, but I mean. Yeah, I guess so. It says <laughs> it says we need a jungle weed and no, common no, alcohol, that... which we just picked up. Okay, well we've got the oh the hearts in there. Yeah, we we've got to be able to get it, and then we've got to boil it, and then it's going to turn green. Excellent. The hearts in here. Uh, and it turns into a projectile, so we've got to do this one of the gods. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That that could be interesting. Um. Da, 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 da. No, I've never played this game. I'm just adventuring. Yeah, uh, use your display. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we've got the other keys. Excellent. Excellent. Don't mind if I do. Jungle potion. Um, cabinet key, look at the movie, pick up the darts from the wall and blow go- Okay, so we get, we're taking all of these. I want to take the dart- oh, the d- just this dart? Okay. Cool. Move the dart board to find a safe. Ahoy! Then exit. Is she back at her desk yet? No. She may never come. Why is it the music so sexy whenever we come in here like din din din? din. <laughs> yes. No. Open the cabinet, get the alcohol, turn the knob on the front left cabinet. Don't mind if I do. Oh, so we're gonna turn on the Bunsen burner. That's oh, a self igniting one, fancy. Yeah. In your inventory, combines the alcohol in the jungle. How, how, how does one do? Oh, okay, lift. Um, okay. And now it's red. A red beaker. Take the red beaker. Put it on the top. The cooking door turns green, which is kind of impressive, really. It's already in use. Well... <laughs> Touchy hotspot. Aha! Oh, no, it goes. Pick it up again when it turns green. green. Yep, okay. Oh no, it's turned brown. (laughs) So exit from here. Oh, I know what we have to do without looking at it. We're going to be put it, probably dipping the dart into the potion. Dipping the dart in it, yeah. And then, um, what's that called? The, uh... The blow gunning it at the, at the guard. Yeah. Are we going to see some action? Because, look, there's a man and a woman. Yeah. Right. They are going to be too, too interested in each other to, to worry about us. Let's dip the dart, stick it in the blow gun. Loaded. loaded blowgun. Locked and loaded. Get closer. It's still like a garbage can, though. Okay. Yeah, you accidentally clicked on the garbage can. Ah. Oh. Okay. So you see, the, you see there's a very faint... Um, you see path at the top of that dialogue there. There's a very faint um, indicator that, that does at least tell you what hotspot you got. Ah, I'm just gonna hover over seat. All right, okay. Just give him a little. Why is my crowbar? Was... Oh, the crowbar is red. Oh, 
climb the tree st Oh, wait, climbing the tree stump. Why did this make us more conspicuous? Hi. Oh, he's gonna hide behind it, okay. Okay. Oh, save our game. Ah, huh, one of those nice wooden save dialogues. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. What? Get a clear shot of him. Sir, sir, can, can you get? Oh, that's the garbage, My garbage can. Okay. Yes. Oh, just uncontrollable yep. desire for the woman near him. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> Oh, um... Oh, that's it all. You got your listening oh, time. Okay, she she has no problem with this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, we only got one of them. Oh, they got the clothes. Jason, climb down. Jason, Jason, come down. If you just select nothing, um... Yeah, click. Or, or click the tree again. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. And then... And then click the hand again. And now she's about to walk again, yeah. I could have just, uh, what's it called? Or just, or just, or just go get it. Uh, what? Hey, now there's a bear. Why is there a bear? There's a bear in there. Just gonna let the bear do its thing. Oh no, the bear's doing it. Wait, what? Okay. Shock warning! Uh oh. After failing to find any lunch in the garbage can, the bear eats you instead! Okay, Interesting so. Game over I think we're, we're cutting the thing so that the, uh, the, the bear can, can play. The bear can play? The bear, the bear can eat. <laughs> Lampotti. Okay, we climbed up. Get out. Oh, gee, when I saw the recipe called for love potions on dots, I'm like, it's very clear what we're about to do. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Animation's still just a funny second time around. So we have to outrun the bear? You have to put something in the garbage can for the bear? We don't have any food though. No, but we're, we're bolt cutting it open. Oh the, oh, the garbage can is shut, okay. Yeah. How much closer do I have to get to this? Okay, the chain is off. I'm just gonna use this to use it like a pause screen. Okay, bolt cutter on the train, then pick up the vault key from the guard's coat. Walk through the guard. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, ladies' blue jacket would not match Jason's pants at all. You're not close enough to reach it. You take the key. In stark contrast to later access games where you could pick up objects from like halfway across the room. Enjoy, bear! Enjoy! So the bear's got a snack bar and the guard is happy. The guards are very happy right now. Oh god. Fast key activates the mechanisms, the doors open massive. Yay! What? Where the hell did you come from? The heavy okay, metal monster. Chapter. Oh, 
Welcome to chapter three. Jason! Jason! Has entered a top secret security vault in search of Alan's files. Little does he realize the area is being patrolled by Bob, binary overseer biped. This robot terror is in development for use against those vast communist hordes who plan to overthrow the American way of life. Little did that. Donald, then Donald Sutherland shows up going, You can work it out. Uh, <laughs> until that day, this metal titan guards the secrets that keeps this country strong. Alright. Counterintuitive. We're leaving straight away. Okay, so they're still going. And the bear's gone. Okay, I guess we need to raid the trash again. I I'm, I'm surprised that that woman was so compliant with that man. Yes. She's just like, okay, fuck yeah. I mean... He was probably really horny. It's it's a uh, big <laughs> she. I mean, at least it sounds like she's having a fine time. We can't take that. That's what I need to we pick up. We got the lock though. Oh. Do we need the lock? No, we need to pick up the garbage can. Oh, there we go. Oh, are oh, we making a robot costume, aren't we? I guess so. It just says head back into the vault, and Bob will leave. Oh god. Every time I hear that laugh. Oh my god! Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna make love? Oh he, he's okay, off. So Bob okay. falls for very simple robot costumes, okay. And better da -da -da. move the lever. Move closer. Which reminds me, we need to play Future Wars at some point. <laughs> After we've played what's I called a little bit of a uh, good old John Gleams Operation Stealth. Uh, moving the lever down causes the titanium to sli slightly open. Use your crowbar. We do love a good crowbar. Subtle, we are not. On which draw? Bottom right draw. Here we go. You find your brother's file! Have I picked it up? I wonder what the decoded message said. The map, compass, and microfilm from the drawer. Okay, cool. Um, leave the vault and go back in the research building. Since I'm guessing the coded message was the copy protection, then we went in anyway, so... Yeah. Are we still going to hear these two and they're giggling? Yeah, whatever that stuff is, it takes a long time to wear off. Well, if it's love potion number nine, love potion number nine was permanent. Ugh. Uh oh. Love potion number eight was the one that wore off. But if your love is not pure, you will taste monkey uh, donkey sweat in your mouth for the rest of your life. <laughs> it was not meant to be a pleasant thing. Ooh, talk to the librarian through the window. Hi, baby. Uh, that wasn't open before. No, she. So this. What can I do for you? Oh, you can. We can go on a Whoa. date. Um, I mean, what? Um. She will only lose her post by called by security. Okay, so we're just talking. You look years younger. I may look young, but these aches and pains make me feel ancient and I'm getting so forgetful. Yesterday I forgot my purse and last week I left the lights on in my car and I had to leave my station to turn them off. I'd lose my ears if they weren't attached. Perhaps I could come inside and use my magic fingers. <laughs> oh, the fifties, am I right? I'm a married mm. woman, you unspeakable cat. Get out of here this instant. <laughs> But she, has, but she has NPC amnesia, and, and you can have this conversation again. Yes, many, many, many times. Okay, you pick up the yeah. coat hanger on the far right. Okay. Ha 
Hello, Summer. This is Amazon Guardians of Eden. Of Eden uh, not Eden. Is it Guardians of Eden? It's Gu yes. Yes. Eden, yeah. Amazon Guardians of Eden. Yeah, sorry. I was remembering another game that also has Amazon in it that also mentions Eden. I think yeah. that's Amazon. Oh, and they slaughtered the Amazon Queen. Yes. Yes. Okay, we need a coat hanger. Uh, delivery troubles. Um, yeah, we did, just... Sam, did you see, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we used love potion number nine on the guards and they're currently fucking in a bush. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you saw that bit, but that was, that was amusing. Yes, it, it was. <laughs> Get closer. Okay, we need to. Oh, Secretary's car is still. Yeah, Secretary's car, and now we're gonna go fuck up the, uh, <laughs> the librarian's car as well. How much closer do you need me to be? Here we go. Oh, we're climbing in. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave her lights on so that she has to, yeah. so she has to check her car. Okay. Turn the lights on. There we go. We have to go tell her that our lights are on. Well, what's it called? They're still making noises every time we walk past, so we might we might see them again. <laughs> hey, honey, your lights are on. Honey? Oh, there you are. Yes. Darn it. I'll be right back. I'll be right. Oh, oh, sinister music. Okay. It's a it's catch right to the chase. We ride at the microfilm. Thank okay. you. You place the film in the micro reader and turn on the machine. Strange writings found in Amazon years. may solve ancient mystery. That doesn't seem to work. You're at the end of the film. That won't move. That well, that's the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Thousands of miles away from civilization in remote jungles from the Amazon, famed archaeologist Hans Stroheim is searching to solve one of the great mysteries of the Western world. Inside the hidden cavern, Stroheim believes that he has found clues to the whereabouts of the eyes of the jaguar. The uh, huge emeralds given to the Aztec king Montezuma to Hernando Cortez in 1519. Montezuma believed that Cortez was the great bearded god whose coming had long been foretold in Aztec legend. The eight perfect emeralds were said to be the greatest treasure of the Aztec civilization. The emeralds did not stay long with Cortez. However, one of his generals, Diaz Velasquez, stole the tribute for himself. Velasquez was pursued in the Amazon basin where all traces of his party and the em uh, emeralds were lost. Dr. Stromheim believes he's found a connection between strain inscriptions inside the recently discovered cavern and the fate of Velasquez and the emeralds. If so, then this mystery, which has puzzled the world for over 400 years, will soon be solved. This sounds like a newspaper article. You're at the end of the film. So, that was really important, huh? Yeah. Um, no, we... Walkthrough says just, just to read this. Yeah. Then exit. Go outside and uh, oh, okay. So she she shut up shop. How did we get in then? Yes. Go back to your own car. Oh, we're gonna go. Yeah. So we do have a tape deck at our place. Do 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 do. Do I just hit exit? No. I have to go, unfortunately. Oh, that's all right. I'm just going to listen to the tape and then we're finishing up as well. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, I'm, Granny. Uh, I won't be here next week. I'm going to be out of town. <gasps> I'll be back the week after that. How dare you, sir? No, that's fine. <laughs> have a good yeah, time. I'm going to, oh, yeah. I'm going to New Orleans. Be... I'll say hello oh, to you awesome. tonight for everybody. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bye. 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 Jason arrives to find that the interior decorator from hell has paid a visit. 
So it, it's going to look better then. Uh, the apartment is totally trashed. Someone has even slashed the velvet painting. <gasps> Not the velvet painting. This could take years of careful restoration. Someone was looking for something in a real hurry. But the landlord's not going to be happy about this. I think it looks better than it did. We lost the TV's tipped over. The not my. Oh, that's a tape machine in the foreground. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to climb in the room. That's it's all good. Okay. Okay. That that didn't do nothing. Um, you know all the tape, Mr. Machine? Okay. The tape is a recording of Alan reciting the combination to his safe. You quickly write down the combination on a scrap of paper. Okay. okay uh, now the tape machine animates, but there's no audio. Yeah. Oh, we might as well... Go. Because we're really close to the end of the chapter. And Sam gets to hear uh, all the uncomfortable noises of the uh, the guards. Yeah. Banging See, if, down. Love, if love potion number nine never wears off, then yeah, they're still going. Yeah, I mean, love potion number nine just means that they'll they'll be in love for the rest of their lives. So they might they might get over the banging part of it, but. Uh... <laughs> okay. Which you know, I, I don't, I doubt, I doubt he's got any condoms. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be standing on on, on guards, on guards, on guards. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go. <laughs> well, at least she sounds enthused. But you know, he just basically grabbed her hand and was just like, "Now we go." Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what I remember about this game was I kept getting stuck in the scenery. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, the the doors just reopened themselves. Okay. So da 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 da. -da. Pick up the flashing decoder ring from the under overturned chair. I did. I missed that. Oh. Not in here. Oh, it was in, in our house. There was a there was a flashing hotspot. Yeah. But either way, like, what's it called? We need to be in Alan's office, not in the vault. Oh. Yeah, this is the whole chapter that it's set up with. It's like attack off the killer robot, and we defeat the robot with a trash can. I do in think like, it's an interesting, like, idea to do just, like, short little chapters, so... Oh, the whole chapter marks thing. I like the yeah. chapters idea. But, I mean, like, it can be it... done really well. Yeah, and, like, but I mean as well that it kind of, you know, like, you only then have to deal with little bits and pieces at a time. Especially if you're reusing assets from a previous mm. level as well. It, it, it's economic, uh, you know, economical. That's the word I was looking for. Hmm. Okay, so, oh yeah, yes, let's use the safe. Oh, I put it on a piece of paper, I believe. Yes. Okay. Sweet. It opens! Ooh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, this game is, this game is going for a B-movie vibe, it is most curious. I mean, it was the fifties. Okay, that's it. I just needed, I just needed Alan's money. Okay, we simply needed to. I mean, in this case, our brother. But yeah, we just need to rob somebody. That's that's all. Yeah. As you do. I mean, we've broken into two different cars. Well, her lights are off. I guess she just went. I'm not talking to anyone now. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a compass. I was about to be like, it looks like a protractor. I guess I need the decoder ring before it lets me go any further. Oh, I see it. It's sparkling. You see it glinting on the... Um, Look yeah. at it shine. 
You're able to decode your brother's message. Fly to Cuzo, Peru. Get to Rio Blanco. Find phone in Rio Blanco. Dial this number. Let phone ring three times. Go to Cantina. I will someone send someone to meet you. Now you have everything you need to leave for your search for Alan. Oh, wait, sorry. That was me. Yeah, we're driving to the airport. Meanwhile. I do love a good meanwhile. Thousands of miles away in a dirty forgotten village at the edge of the jungle, a tall, fat policeman known as Colonel Sanchez sits behind a desk. Though not officially a colonel, Sanchez uses his, his title as a sign of his own importance. Even the term policeman is a paradox. There's no law here. The police is no more legalized, no more than legalized criminalized to exploit the poor of the region. Just like all policemen. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Sanchez knows about Jason and Alan. His agents did not get what they needed from Jason's apartment. But soon Jason will be in Sanchez's country. It will be much easier then. For now, Sanchez impatiently waits for information on Alan's whereabouts. Come in! <laughs> Come in! The attempt to recover the package has failed. Oh, what shit. Have you found at the campsite? We have nothing. I got nothing, mate. Nothing. The men will not go near that place. But we know it's a freaking kick that happens every time a sample blows. He mm. must be found! He must be! Oh, don't Hot miss it. Hot pursuit. Hot pursuit. But we will miss it because we're gonna we're gonna leave. We we're, we're gonna be done. We are actually about halfway through this game. Oh no, hang on. Chapter fourteen. Okay, so we're 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 t we're four chapters Quarter into away. ten. Yes. Um. Ding 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 ding. ding. But we're gonna end up there. Um, because we are past the time. Jason, Jason's having fun. Um, but, uh, yes. I'm just trying to think. People will be streaming midweek. I know that, uh, I don't know if Fu's gonna, I, I don't know if Fu's still around, but I, he might go back to the, uh, randomized, um, Resident Evil 2 that he's playing, or I'm guessing he might have another different game to play. Uh, Bad Batch will be back next weekend. Um... I will probably stream at some point during the week. Um, it will either be more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, or um, if I can get Dave, it will be some uh, Zork as guided by Peter Spears. Because now I have the official Zork mm -hmm. Nemesis guide as well. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Other than that, uh, in enjoy yourselves, everybody. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah. Um, and enjoy this plane. I'm, I'm going to go take a nap. And yes. Thanks everyone for coming. I'm going to take a nap as well. Cause it's fucking cold. It's two degrees here. But yes, let us all leave. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.